Scientists terrifying warnings that the Pacific Ocean will vanish, leaving a huge supercontinent. And this is what the Earth looked like 300 million years ago, Pangaea. Well, it seems like that in a distant future we're going to have something else like Pangaea, but uh, it will be called Amasia. And as you can see, there is no more Pacific Ocean. So experts say that having the whole world dominated by a single continental mass would dramatically alter Earth's ecosystem and environment. New research has warned that over the course of the next 200 to 300 million years, the Pacific Ocean is likely to disappear as North and South America merge with Asia, and that will form what they call AmAsia, America Asia, the world's next supercontinent. In a new study, scientists from New Curtin University used a supercomputer to simulate how the next supercontinent would form. They found that because a planet has been cooling over the period of billions of years, the thickness and strength of the plates under the oceans reduce with time. And because of this phenomenon, it's difficult for the next supercontinent to assemble by closing up the young oceans like the Atlantic and the Indian Oceans. Lead author is Dr. Chuang Huang from Curtin's Earth Dynamic Research Group and the School of Earth and Planetary Sciences. He hailed the new findings as significant and provided insights into what would happen to our Earth in the next 200 million years. He said over the past 2 billion years, Earth's continents have collided together to form a supercontinent every 600 million years, known as the supercontinental cycle. This means that the current continents are due to come together again in a couple of hundreds of millions of years' time. The result, seeing a new supercontinent, has already been named Amasia because some believe that the Pacific Ocean will close as opposed to the Atlantic and Indian Oceans when America collides with Asia. Despite its name not being visible in the portmanteau, Australia is also expected to play a role in the formation of Amasia, first colliding with Asia and then connecting America and Asia once the Pacific Ocean closes up. By simulating how the Earth's tectonic plates are expected to evolve using a supercomputer, they said we were able to show that in less than 300 million years' time, it's likely to be the Pacific Ocean that will close, allowing for the formation of Amasia, debunking some previous scientific theories. According to Curtin University, the Pacific Ocean was formed by what was left of the Panthalassa Superocean, which started to form 700 years, million years ago when the previous supercontinent began to break apart. This makes the Pacific the oldest ocean on Earth, and since its formation, it has been shrinking from its maximum size, currently at the rate of a few centimeters every year. At this pace, scientists believe that in two to three hundred million years, the ocean will completely close up, bringing the continents of Asia, Australia, Antarctica, and North and South America together. Co-author Professor Zhuang Jiang Li, also from Curtin School of Earth and Planetary Sciences, said that having the whole world dominated by a single continental mass would dramatically, of course, alter Earth's ecosystem and environment. He said, Earth as we know it will be drastically different when Amasia forms. The sea level is expected to be lower, and the vast interior of the supercontinent will be very arid with high daily temperature ranges. Currently, the Earth consists of seven continents with widely different ecosystems and human cultures, so it would be fascinating to think what the world might look like in 200 to 300 million years' time. The full paper titled, Will Earth's Next Supercontinent Assemble Through the Closure of the Pacific Ocean? was published in National Science Review. Amasia is not the only supercontinent theory out there, as some experts like Christopher Scottese at Northwestern University in Evanston, Illinois, dubbed another predicted shape, Pangaea Proxima. In 2017, he said 50 million years from now, Australia will be in collision with Southeast Asia to a much larger degree. 
Mr. Scottese mapped his projections in an animation which shows Antarctica traveling through north to end up next to Africa and collides with South America as the continents are constantly on the move. He says collisions between them are seemingly inevitable. Mr. Scotty said in the plate tectonic world, plates do evolve slowly and steady until we have one of these plate tectonic catastrophes like continental collisions. This fundamentally changes plate tectonic regimes, he said. So that's what they, became, they believe will happen. This is by Anthony Ashkenaz on Express UK. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.